I'm going to break down the entire essence of personal development into one video for you so that you can then use that to be way more powerful in creating the life that you want to create, your ability to influence reality and your ability to influence yourself to shift into the person that is ultimately that capable that they can create whatever they want to create. If you look at anything that happens in our external reality, there is the other day two choices you can be taking. You have the option of A, reacting or B, creating. And the funny thing with those both words is that they use pretty much the same letters, right? It's one extra E, I guess, with create. But they are very much opposites from one another. Because in any situation, you have the opportunity to create something or you have the opportunity to react and be influenced by whatever it is that is being forced upon you. With one option in this, creating, you let everything flow from you, from the mind. You let everything trickle down from the mind to your reality. And in that way, you are the ultimate creator of everything around you. However, what most people do is they react to everything. They let everything around them sink into them, making them become smaller and smaller because they believe that whatever happens around them is of relevance which in reality there is no single relevance to anything outside of the thing that you give it meaning to or the meaning that you give to it i can't speak because i'm tired as fuck as long as you don't take absolute complete and utter ownership over every single thing that is going on in your life and you say i am the owner of everything i own the outcome of every single thing that that happens around me no matter what it might be no matter where you started from Whatever fucking excuse you want to throw at me, you have utter and complete control over your reality. And the faster you realize this, the more powerful you'll be. So understanding that, how do we now take that to actually become the most potent, most capable version of ourselves that can influence reality like that? First step is you set better standards because the standards that you set internally will reflect to your outside world. The way that other people treat you is a direct reflection of your own self-confidence, your own self-worth and the own boundaries that you have enabled other people to operate within. I was on this call this morning with a client of mine and he was talking about this situation where a person basically was attacking him, like very aggressive. In that situation, he had two options. It was create, react. Now my client chose to respond with aggression. The problem is that if you reply to aggression with aggression, you just get more aggression. You enter the frame of the person who was aggressive in the first place and you accomplish literally nothing. In this situation, what he could have done was create the frame from which he was comfortable acting upon, which then gave him the power again to create the results that he wanted to be creating. And that this place is fucking beautiful. So I'm just going to show you the waterfall down there. Anyways, he could have essentially said, look, I am going to be treated in this way. I'm not going to be yelled at. He could have set a certain parameter in terms of this is how you're going to speak to me and I'll help you resolve whatever we need to resolve. But because he reacted to the situation, he wasn't able to take control and create the outcome that was more beneficial for both himself and this other person. And we have this opportunity in so many different areas of our life, essentially with everything. Even when you feel bad, for example, are you going to react to the fact that you feel bad? Or are you going to create and think more positive thoughts? And are you going to get moving, realize that it's not about you? If you have time to be fucking selfish and worry about your own emotions, then first of all, you're going to get more sad emotions. And secondly, if you can just be the person that, that steps outside of that and serves other people, then you're not going to be feeling bad anymore. This is the same problem when trying to be traumas and things. Because if you are stuck in the past, trying to deal with something from the past, you are in that same sense still reacting. The only way that you can really change that thing is by creating it, by 
rewriting the past and by assuming a different identity. If you used to not be confident whatsoever, you don't continue to affirm that identity. That is reactive. You create a new identity. You say, I am confident. I'm confident as fuck. Look at me on camera. You take the actions that a confident person takes. And then you keep telling yourself, you keep lying your habits and sooner rather than later, you're confident. I'm confident as fuck. I don't care. I say that I'm confident as fuck and therefore I am confident. That is the difference. And the more you can take on this identity and this, this frame of thinking of, I create everything around me because everything is once created in the mind. Everything was created in the mind of God or in the mind of another person. And you understand that from your brain, you can shift your reality into whatever you want to shift it into. The more powerful you'll be, the faster you'll create the life that you actually want to be living and uh, the happier you'll ultimately be. So this is in a nutshell what I do with clients, right? In sessions, everything that we do is we look at how can you create more powerfully? How can you feel better, have more energy, have more power, have more internal power, think about things more efficiently, have a better mindset to create in a more potent way. If you want to make the shift as fast as possible, shoot me a message or join the school community in which we will give everything, give essentially everything away uh, in a do-it-yourself way. So there's just courses, there's live group coaching sessions. Um, now it's $7 probably by the time you're watching it. Later on, it's going to be up. Um, so yeah, get in there if you, if you want to get in. Um, and I'll tell you that I really hope you take this advice to heart and you run with it because it has impacted my life very greatly. I uh, wish you a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.